Hello everyone, it's snowing again. Um, probably won't be a big storm, but who knows in this area. It wasn't supposed to hit us at all. Uh, at least until this morning they said, oh yeah, maybe you'll get an inch. Okay. The crazy inaccuracies of DC weather area, DC area weather forecasting notwithstanding. Um, looked at one of the residents' videos where she was talking about the quote-unquote rise of China and how, you know, they're going to be number one. And that generally, we're number one is a stupid chant to begin with. And she didn't say they're going to be number one, but basically she was poking fun at the entire idea of we're number one when we have other stuff to do and there are other people in the world besides us. But this totally sidesteps how the Soviet Union was quote-unquote supposed to surpass us once Sputnik was launched, that the Japanese were supposed to surpass us, that Germany was supposed to surpass us in the 70s. I think it was Germany. But um, basically, two things. One, the press likes to rattle its scare stories all the time. And two, we are declining in many ways, but a lot of the success that China's success, a lot of, a lot of China's success is built on illusion. I'm sorry for, I'm trying to compress a whole lot into a very short amount of time. To reiterate what I said last year, China is loaning us some of the money we're using to buy their products. They are, we are financing the rest ourselves, whether through loans or securitization or whatever. And China is being pushed to thinner and thinner profit margins. And to be perfectly blunt, they're making a lot of investments in infrastructure that are not going to pay for themselves. There are a lot of non-performing loans on their books. And right now, the Chinese households, Chinese private households are being soaked to pay for their last banking crisis. They're still not dug out from their last one. And what's new is that both of both the United States and China, and everybody else for that matter, are in big trouble because the one thing that sits under everything that isn't water or air, as far as commodity prices, you know, if, if you don't have these th this thing, you don't have it, is oil. And what area in the world is undergoing dramatic domestic turmoil? That would be the Middle East, all right? I strongly suspect that we are going to see increased unrest in the Middle East that we are going to see raised oil prices, raised commodity prices, raised finished products prices, even thinner profit margins, and that this will be the key to both the second, or actually third phase of the European crisis and our third phase. Because now that foreclosure gate is being swept under the rug, House prices are dropping again, and even more people are going to be underwater in their mortgages. So, hang in there, save money if you can. Don't buy it if you don't need it. And if you do, buy locally. Otherwise, thank you for your time and attention.